to Rudy, I'm Jace Ward, and I thought to do some little more for video today. I thought I'd guys with a story time. So I never actually do story time videos on YouTube channel. I have done a few story time videos, but my life isn't really that interesting. Like, I literally see all these like, YouTubers who do all these like, story time videos. Like, they have like, a full on, like, YouTube channel dedicated to story time videos. And I'm still like, my life isn't really that interesting to be a story time channel, so I have to do just fun content instead. I have this story I want to tell you guys, which has been sitting on my head for a bit of a while now, so I thought, you know what, let's just start with a story time. But if you are excited to fit to your eyes, if you like to scroll to channel, to locations, next video, leave a comment if you want me to do more story time videos. I know, I know the story time videos that I do are not very really interesting, because I don't really have an interest in life, but you know, I know I could dig out a few stories which I've had in my lifetime. But without further ado, guys, let's get into this video. So, oh, where do I begin? So basically I was on a holiday, I was like, so like caravan sites thing, and like help with like children's facilities, and it was like a family friendly caravan site, so like a tennis court, playground, swimming pool, you name it, so it was quite a really good holiday park. So I went to the holiday, this holiday park with, with my with all family, there was a bunch of family there and things like that, and they decided to do a sort of like, little like movie series thing, just a bit of fun at the tennis court with like, with the kids, so I was sort of the kids up the tennis court, the tennis court was empty, so I took them in there and, uh, and we just for fun filmed this like sort of movie series thing. And bear in mind, there was literally nobody in there. So then a bunch of lads came in who looked about like 14 years of age or something, literally barged in with their skateboards and bikes and things like that, and then they started to like barge around me like tennis court thing, like I saw like really like ferals around the tennis court. And they could literally see I was holding a camera and was in the shooting position. I was literally shooting the kids like doing something and basically like badge right in front of the shot like, so the camera was like the I was holding it and they literally went in front of me while I was shooting the video. And then they realised after that I got them in the shot. So when I when I had to like prepare for a shot again because they completely ruined the shot, so I had to like do it again. Before I started shooting, a boy literally came up to me and tugged me in a t-shirt and was like, What are you filming? And then I was like, Because you didn't badge them up to me, so I'm not psychic, I'm not gonna like you're literally like, just going through the camera that you can clearly see I'm trying to fail. And then this kid still started like trying to accuse me of something they didn't do and started like, shouting me and yelling at me like, I had like a bunch of like gangs come after me. Basically that was kind of like weird at first because I've never actually been in fights before though like I never actually go gained that much fights like nobody ever wants to start beefing me which I'm very grateful for so that was very interesting to see but then I, went, then I literally went to the security staff, got, I, I literally had everyone get out of the thing because these kids were literally trying to come after us. So we went out to security and then security started of here, like sort of kicking them out to the thing. So we were all happy and everything was all good. And then the next day, so I was literally at the caravan site, I was literally like playing around with the kids outside and things like that. The same boy who accused me of shooting without permission the last night. Lich came up to me again and I was like, You're grasping security officer. And I was like, Yeah, I was a bit grasping you because you literally accused me of some kind of a And false accusations are actually illegal. So then this boy literally went and confronted me again of grasping on him and he literally like went up to me. And this is when the interesting part starts. He literally starts tucking my t shirt and starts hitting me in the belly. To be honest, it never actually hurt, to be honest. Like, it did like not hurt at all really, he just like tried to hit me like continuously so also I couldn't touch him back because in the UK it's actually illegal to hit somebody back unless it's for self defence so I didn't do anything, I just had to stand there just like shout at him for hitting me so I was like you do realise hitting me is not going to look cool right and he was like yeah but he's all grass for me so and then I literally tried to walk away and then this boy just kept accusing me of things so I asked to tell the security officer again and then the security officer came marching up to the boys and was like, out. So the security man literally escorted the boys out of the area and I think, I think he told the parents and then I think they got vacated off the park, which was very interesting. Okay, that's the end of the story time video right now. I know it's kind of like a short story time video today, but I thought I'd just get that story out to you guys because I've been wanting to tell you that story for ages now, so here you go. But if you like like story time, if you like to see a scroll channel, two occasions next video, don't forget to also comment down if you want to do more story time videos, because I know my story times are really interesting, but I don't have an interesting life. Eh? And don't forget to also follow me and smile as well, drop with me. As I heard, 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 as I heard,